All right, guys. I have a few watches that I'm going to do. I got to trickle these out because I try to do too many at once and it just gets a little overwhelming. So I'm going to do just a batch of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, but only four of them here are, are in front of me. So hear me out. So all the information will be in the description. It'll have the watch, the price, and then if the price is gone and it says sold, that means the watch is sold, it's no longer available. You email me if you want to purchase the watch. First person gets dibs on the email. So only email me if you are actually wanting to purchase this watch because it's extremely time consuming. So that way, and it holds up other people that, you know, that really want to get it. So, and then they get frustrated. So anyway, guys, so here we go. I'm going to start out with a fair lander. You guys have watched the video on it. Um, this thing is in really good shape. I mean, it's been worn a few times. There's a little bit of uh, patina developing on the bronze um, crown. But overall, I mean, a quick wipe with a cape cloth and this thing would look brand new. I mean, it's there's no deep scratches or anything like that. The strap is in really good shape. You can tell it hasn't been worn nearly at all. Um, this guy is... Let me look it up here. $950. This is James' watch that he lent in. This one and the Oros that I'll show you here in a second. But uh, look back at the video if you want to do a full thing on it. If you're interested in the Fair Lander GMT, this thing is $950 plus the shipping. The $950 will get PayPal directly to James, uh, USA buyers only. And then you'll email me your um, shipping info and then I'll get you the exact price of the shipping and then you'll pay me the shipping so this is uh mr james's uh oris i did a, again i did a review on this awesome watch he put it on this uh non oris strap with a really nice clasp but it does have the full oris bracelet that it's um i don't see like there might be a couple little marks but it basically looks brand new these are really high quality clasp and uh, bracelets uh, individual links and everything so really nice setup of course beautiful looking watch again look back at the at the video amazing looking watch actually so and uh, killer price on that that thing is only six hundred dollars but now both these come with their you know their full kit um, you know it's going to have a little hang tag and the uh, box and all that good stuff okay now so those are that one those two the, uh, this one here, this is actually uh, my buddy Bruce lent this in. Um, this is his uh, REC. I have not done the video on this. I will do the video real soon. So if you want to buy this, you can buy it. But give me a couple of days to make the video because I do want to do a full uh, video on this. This is a killer watch. But definitely go check out this video. Uh, maybe I'll even put a link down in the description of Bruce's video of it because it is a really slick watch. Um, really high quality, well done, and an interesting story behind it as well. This guy is only four hundred dollars. Um, that's the price that Bruce has put on it. So, excellent, excellent watch, killer deal at four hundred dollars. Very tempting, even from me, but I have some goals that uh, I can't get sidetracked right now with that stuff. So, um, the last one I physically have here with me. This is a Seiko S A R X zero one five. Um, I think I've done a video on these in the past. I, I really honestly can't remember. Um, this was lent in by uh, Mr. A. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do a video on it. I just, I don't know if I can squeeze it in. But I do want to share with you because I have not done a video with it. It is not in perfect shape. There are some nicks and gouges on it. You can see, you know, pause the video and take a look if you want. I mean, this was a, a worn watch. This was a, a watch that had been worn and you can see there's some you know, beat up marks there and there. So don't be shocked if you agree to buy this and then you get it and you're like, wow, that thing's, you know, rough. I'm showing you right now. It is a worn watch. This thing has wear on it. It is still in excellent condition. I threw it on the time grapher. It runs just a touch slow. When I say touch slow, maybe eight seconds a day slow. So it's still running really good. Um, I forget if this has the 430. Nope, it's a 6R. So it has the 6R, 6, uh, 6R15 in it. Um, excellent looking watch. And I'm sure there's pictures and videos on the internet of this guy if you want to get more information. And like I said, I can't remember if I've done a video. I know I've done some SARXs. 
I'm not sure if I've done this particular uh, model, but uh, Mr. A would like $350 for that. So let me know on that one. And then the last two, I'll see if I can drop in some pictures right here, but uh, I sent them over to Bruce so he could do some videos of them, but they're my good buddy Homer. You guys know Homer. Uh, he's, he's lent in a ton of watches, but that uh, Laco Coxhaven, uh, that watch is an amazing watch. Hand wind, beautiful display back. Um, I'll put I'll put a couple of pictures at the end here of that and the the second or the last one that Homer's selling. The Laco is eight hundred dollars, and then last but not least, uh, actually the best for the last, if you will, is the Grand Seiko GMT 9F. Again, look back to my video. Bruce will be putting out videos of both these watches soon, and he, you know he knocks them out of the park with his videos. But uh, Homer only wants, that's that crazy limited one too, you guys. Remember, there's only 800 of those. Uh, Homer only wants $2,800 for that thing. So extremely tempted on my end. But again, I have some goals I'm trying to achieve. And I'll talk later about those. But I just want to throw up this for sale video real quick and uh, get going on this. Um, I plan on doing Memorial Day. I, I will do a, another sale, but it's not going to be this caliber of watches. It's going to be more entry level type stuff. So if you're looking for a little bit, um, you know, the next level, you know, the next tier, the Fair and the Oris and the, the Rack and even the Seiko SARX and the Grand Seiko and the the Laco and everything like that, I'm not going to have a ton in that department. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, everybody, for um, helping me out with this, and uh, we'll talk to you on the next video.